What is going on, Radar Force? Today, we on this episode of Product Review, we will be covering the Rock the Dragon edition of Dragon Ball Z. It's a limited edition set back in, I believe, 2011. Quote me if I'm wrong. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a shorter video because it's just one item, but I had nowhere else to group this in, so I had to do it in its own video. Uh, but this set is amazing. If, if you don't have it, you need to get it. Um, it has the ocean dub in it, I believe. Uh, the whole the whole set is the ocean dub. I never actually got into that dub. I got in the Funimation dub, but it's still uh, awesome to note. Uh, we're going to get right into this. Here's the back. Uh, you can read that if you want. Uh, just pause the video. But uh, it's super dope and brings back a lot of memories. Like I said, I never really got into the ocean dub. So that's not me, but I still enjoy this set. Wish we had a Blu-ray counterpart to it. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Rock the Dragon. Then Rock the Dragon Edition. Uh, let's get the slipcover off and check this bad boy out. So it's one big book, which I adore. I mean, this is amazing. And then the back here you have Vegeta. And the Ocean Dub only covers up to the Ginyu Force Saga, I believe. Or no, it just covers the Saiyan and Namek, and right before the Ginyu Saga, it, it's over, I believe. But let's open this thing up and check it out. Uh, we're not going to go over all the pages, but we'll try try to go over most of them. Slowly but surely. Uh, pause the video if you want. I'm just going to cover them. Um, Sally, it's a little too big to fit in here, but just to get the idea... We're going to flip through the pages here. But yeah, if you do not have this set, definitely get it. It's something I procrastinated on in my collection for so long. When I first started collecting, you could get these things for 90 bucks. And, I, and then they went out of print. I was trying to focus on the dragon boxes, and then this went out of print. And then I just put it on the back burner for six years like an idiot. But yeah, finally got it for about 200. Talking about some like uh, voice acting changes and stuff. Uh, it also comes with Rock the Dragon. This is one of the neatest things. You can sing along with the Rock the Dragon intro, which I love. All right, and that concludes the book side of things. Now we're going on to the disc. So you got disc one and two. disc three and four and five and six and then disc seven eight and nine uh this also includes the the dead zone the world's strongest entry of my everything that the ocean dub dub covered so yeah this ends at episode 53 which is the last uh episode of the namek saga and then funimation picked it up in the ginyu saga but yeah this is a super awesome set if you did not have it definitely definitely pick it up i love it um uh, I haven't watched it all the way through. Like I said, I never got into the Ocean Dub. I know a lot of you guys have. Uh, I just prefer Funimation's dub. Uh, hate me in the comments or not, I don't care. Um, but yeah, this is a beautiful set. I like the I like history of Dragon Ball, so that's kind of why I love this set. But it is super high quality produced. Like it, it's a solid release. Like slip covers. Um, high quality, the books high quality, the disc are high quality, everything is just perfect. Um, but yeah, I prefer Funimation's dub. But yeah, definitely. I mean, if you're a Dragon Ball collector, obviously you're probably going to get this. But yeah, guys, that's it for this episode of the product review. A little bit shorter than normal, but like I said, I had no, I couldn't group this by itself because it's a one-time release. It, it doesn't have a counterpart, so I just had to group it by itself. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed that video, uh, please subscribe. Like and leave a comment below what you want to see next time on the product review. Until then, guys, uh, have a nice day. Peace, bros.